poverty. To many, it's simply a word used to describe an unfortunate way of life for people rarely known to those who pass them by, who live in the places where many never venture. and whose daily lives are filled with problems hard for most to imagine. But for over 12 million American children, poverty is a harsh reality, one that affects their health, their education, their future, and the future of our country. The children in this film are growing up in a tough Philadelphia neighborhood. They know the poverty of urban America intimately. They live their lives trapped within its borders, witness to its many cruelties. The photographs you will see are their own. snapshots of the world they live in, of the blight that surrounds them. Of the hard times already faced by such young lives. Ghetto mean to us is a neighborhood with drug dealers and abandoned houses or drug houses and stuff like that. That's the ghetto. There's only two houses that people live in. My house and another house. All the rest of them are abandoned. I used to think, who used to live here? And how did it get like that? They should just clean up sometimes. It's a bad environment for us, my mom tell us. Drugs, breaking glass, fighting a lot, robbing. At night, there's a lot of men out on drugs and stuff, and they could do something bad to us. The only thing that makes me go to sleep is the television. I just leave it on all night because I don't really like to sleep without it because all the people outside are too noisy. A lot of drug deals on the corner and they always selling drugs around little kids and stuff. It's too many drug dealers there. I'm afraid for myself sometimes. They have a lot of fighting and shooting and I just feel like I want to move and it's like a little terrible for me. What's getting around my neighborhood is when they be shooting. I see bad people killing people. I don't like when they kill people because that makes me sad because I don't like when they die. It's scary to hear gunshots because I feel like it's getting close to me and I'm going to get shot. 
It's like bang, bang, bang. When you hear it, you just start running. I know a lot of people that got killed around here. My cousin, Kwan, he got shot. My dad got shot in the leg. In this neighborhood, I'm in danger every second of the way. That's what I think. With me and my sister and brother be going to school, my mom sometimes worry about us. I seen some kids on the corner doing drugs, and one kid had a gun, and we had to walk the other way. Sometimes people get chased home, and people from other schools come and pick with them. Like a girl in my class, she got jumped um, yesterday. Some kids in my school just um, roam the halls and do everything they want to. My mom thinks I shouldn't be in that school because it's a lot of kids in there that don't care if they go to jail or not. They bring either guns, knives, anything that can hurt someone. They fight every day, they jump people, they do it in the middle of a class in front of a teacher. My school, there's a lot of bad kids. It's not easy to learn in my classroom without hearing them holler across the room through papers and stuff like that. The teacher be stressed out from the kids, not listening and stuff. And some teachers, they be passing kids because they just want to get them out of the classroom. Most of the books in the school are messed up. And the teachers say they had it for a long time. Everything was like beat up and messed up in those schools. We got a computer lab, but we don't go to it because it's locked. It's like not fair because you're not learning more and you need to have to learn. If you want to go to college or make your dreams come true, We don't have too much money to pay the rent and so when we go to the stores, my mom doesn't have money to buy me clothes. My mom get her check next week. That's when she'll pay the electric bill. The others just pile on each other. We had our gas off for like two months. It was cool. <laughs> I went to emergency room thinking my tax was taken out. It's not really good going to the doctors because when you go there, you realize that you need help and you remember at the times that you don't have help. I have to go to the doctor. But my mom, she tries to do only a little. She takes as if she needs to, but she has to pay a lot of money. I never can have nothing what I want because my father, most of the times, he doesn't have a lot of money. I like to move somewhere else because they house like might fall down and be like all the other houses on our block. And me and my sister was gonna like paint our rooms over there so we ain't had no paint so we can't do it. Sometimes I go without shoes and stuff like that. Short times.
Sometimes when we don't have food enough, my dad just gets worried and he just tries to get money and he goes and trying to get a work. My mom, she works for a hotel. She just makes the beds and stuff and takes the towels around and stuff. She be stressed a lot, cause she gotta cook for like 75 people, come home, cook again. Then she'll be tired and ready to go to bed. My mom and my dad do work hard. It seems like they don't get what they deserve. I see my future is growing up being a doctor, having one or two kids. Make sure they have good clothes on, stuff like that. That's my future. Make sure things in life get better. I want to graduate and I want to go to college. When I get my own job, I can get them, them things that I want or I need. I think if I was to do my schoolwork and get to school and I can get a good job to get a lot of money, my mom and my dad wouldn't have to work anymore and we can live somewhere better and in a bigger house. I would want a big house and a garage with a park by it. And I want it to be a nice neighborhood. And I would want to move there. I don't know, I just live peaceful. I could buy my daddy a sweater because he likes sweater and some of them doesn't fit on him. Who we have now is what we can have for right now. And you can't wish because it's not going to happen for real. It's going, it's just going to come if you work hard enough to get it. When you work hard, you get what you want. The sad truth is that for these kids, and almost one in six others in cities, suburbs, and towns of all sizes across the country, hard work may not be enough. No matter where they live, growing up poor puts children on a road so fraught with obstacles that it all too often becomes a dead end, leaving them far short of the chance for success that all kids dream of.